G'day hot dog lovers, it's Greg's Kitchen Time once again and today I'm going to cook for you a delicious Seattle hot dog. What's a Seattle hot dog? Well, it's like a normal hot dog but instead they use like cream cheese and jalapenos. So today that's what I'm going to do, whip one up. Shouldn't take too long at all. Let's start cooking. Now there's hardly any ingredients. All you're going to need is some hot dogs. I got the red ones. Some hot dog buns. A jalapeno an onion and some cream cheese. Now I know this isn't from Seattle, let's just pretend it is. And also, let's also pretend it's not light. Ugh, why would I get light Philly for? Why would I have got light cream cheese for? I must have had my glasses on at the time. And we all know that anything with light written on it is the work of the devil. Anyway, let's start cooking. So for starters, I want to slice these onions up thinly and cut this jalapeno into rings and by the magic of YouTube that's done something else I might do is slice my hot dogs in half no particular reason at all I just think it they cook a whole lot easier and a little bit faster anyway the onions take the longest to cook we better throw those on hopefully my frying pans warmed up by oh Yes! Oh, it has. Right, well, I'll just chuck some uh, olive oil in there. We'll start these frying. Okay, fry my pretties. Mm -mm, that smells good. Alright, well, I've given them a few minutes, so they've got a little bit of colour there. Oh, yeah. And make some space, and I just want to start cooking these dogs, basically. Get these warming up nicely. And while that's happening, I might as well start preparing this bun. Now I was going to toast this a little bit in the air fryer. So I could leave it like that, but of course, I'm never going to, am I? I'm always going to add some butter because, I mean, we all know the benefits of butter. Well, if you've got a headache and you've run out of aspirins, well, just have a little bit of butter, mate. I tell you what, a doctor couldn't prescribe anything better than that. So, of course, we'll add some on. Even though we're going to be adding cream cheese, it's a double cream sensation. So, I'll just chuck this in the old air fryer. Hopefully, it'll stay open. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just on for a couple of minutes. All right, how are these hot dogs going? Oh yeah, oh yum I. And these onions, I better give those a shuffle. It's all looking good though. Top shelf. All right, well that bread has been, well, it's been slightly toasted. It's got a nice crunch and that butter's melted. But we also want to add some of this cream cheese onto it as well. Oh, mate. Make sure you leave the cream cheese out for a while so it gets soft. And don't be afraid just to go put way too much on because, well, it's cream, it's cheese. It boosts your immune system and makes you feel really healthy and happy. And happiness is what this meal is all about. All right, well, these things are pretty much done. So, let's start whipping this together. So, for starters, well, we need a couple of dogs in the mix, don't we? Add some onions. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Thanks for coming. And now we just need to finish it off with these jalapenos. They're still raw, but that's all right. You could probably fry them up if you wanted to. There you have it. A delicious Seattle dog. Ooh, yeah. Now, you can either finish it off with maybe some sriracha sauce, or maybe some American mustard, man. Well, it is Seattle, so we may as well, huh? 
Now you could also use uh, brown mustard for this. Mm -mm. Bit more there. Yummo. Alrighty, well, here we go. The Seattle hot dog. Oh yeah, I can't wait to dive on in. Oh, what do they say in Seattle? Out and about in the boat, bro. Let's go. I'm loving the heat from those jalapenos, but the cream cheese takes some of that heat away, and oh man, that tastes really nice. The jalapenos are crunchy, a little bit spicy, the onion's great, and the cream cheese, well, if it wasn't light, it'd be a million times better, but still tastes really good, and well, if you feel like making something a bit different, give the Seattle hot dog a go. Anyway, that's all today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I cook something awesome. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the